Okay everybody, thank you for coming back for another tutorial. And today we're going to be plugging in a seatbelt mod in our plugins. We're going to put it into our main game directory. Um, first and foremost, I want to say that always wear your seatbelt out there on the road in IRL. Doesn't matter if you're a child, adult, it doesn't matter. A little toddler, always wear that seatbelt. Always make sure they're fastened. But anyway, we are going to get into it. Now, you go to your web browser, and this is the seatbelt 1.5.1, .1, and it's by Faya. Faya? I could be wrong on that. But anyway, that's a seatbelt for LSPGFR. Um, you can use a left control or the D pad to fasten or unfasten the seatbelt. You may customize those keys in the settings. I'm not going to go through all of these features. I'm just going to go through the new ones. You can come back if you're interested and look through all of them and see if this is for you. But you can exit the vehicle if the seatbelt is fastened. You can't exit the vehicle if it's fastened. Um, custom eject system is new. Chance of the seatbelt locking up is new. A animation if you interact with the seatbelt. New. That's pretty cool. And then this is all the versions. All this is what they've started with and then they end up with kind of gives you the process, you know, what they've been through and they have a Discord. But anyway, let's go ahead and get it. I've already downloaded it, but you, what you would do, you download this file and then you would download it. It takes only a couple couple minutes, maybe seconds. You go over here to Renoir or whatever have you, um, uh, how you ever download it. But anyway, I use Renoir, uh, W-I-N-R-A-R, -R, and it looks something like this, little seatbelt looking thing, belt buckle. But anyway, uh, that's what I use, there's wind zip, there's all sorts of things. But anyway, you would, only thing you need, you don't need open IV or nothing like that, you just need your main game directory, you know, simple and easy. Um, what you would do, you would go to your main game directory. You'd go to your PC, right there, your Windows. You go to Program Files, Times 86. You go to uh, Common, Steam. Um, sorry about that. You go to Steam, uh, Steam Maps. Go to Common and Grand Theft Auto 5. Hey, yep, there it is. <laughs> Let me go through that with you one more time. I don't think I messed you up. You go to PC, your PC, Windows C, Pro Program Files, Times 86. Kind of you, uh, you go to Steam, you go to Steam Apps, Common. Grand Theft Auto 5. There it is. This is your main game directory. And the only thing you need is this right here. This plugin right there. Where it's highlighted. Plugins. That's all you need. Now, um, usually they have a README, but this is simple and easy. Actually, I think it's right here. Uh, please. Okay, it's basically what we got the read. Okay, well here's the installation right here. If you if you uh, don't go, uh, listen to this video, you can always go through here. This is basically your README. That some of these files, more or less the vehicles. If you're going to install vehicles, they have more of the readmes. But every once in a while, on like a plugin, you will get a README. But other than that, this is your README right here. Um, this is your installation. Just drag and drop into the Grand Theft Auto folder. That's what we're fixing to do. And what it is, on this Rage plugin, if you don't have the newest one, this will work right here. I hear this Rage. I do not use these because I have my own Rage. And so all you got to do is actually, this is I'm going to actually put it in my game. So um, this is the first time for me. I've had it. But I didn't really like it at first, so I'm going to try it again since you know since it's been updated. So, but anyway, um, that's all you got to do is go here to this plugin right here. It goes plugins, 
And then here's all your I and I, Seabot I and I, Seabot DLL, and then Seabot me, uh, Media. That's where all your audio, the click, and all that is. And we'll go through all this in a minute. Actually, we go to chimes. There's all your chimes you can do. Fastening, which fastening you want. Um, fasten two, fasten two, and then you know how you know you go, you get into your car. It has a you know lock sound. It has the images. Has some images. See like there you can do. It's pretty cool. Um, unfastening, and then this right here is you know the. Uh, you know, simple like that. Simple. I'll do one more. So yeah, yeah, you have those two to choose from on the, on the fasten. Uh, I ain't gonna do all of them, but you can come in here and figure which one you want. But anyway, what you do is you get this plugins folder, or this plugins right here. You click it and drop. That's all you gotta do. And then after that, this little plugins folder right here will light up just like it did. So what you do, you double click it, and then you come down here to seatbelt right here. You'll have the seatbelt I and I, seatbelt .dll, .dll, sorry, excuse me. And then your seatbelt media, just like over here. So make sure you, if those, that's all you know in here, then you're just fine. So what you do, you come down here. Now right here, the seatbelt I and I, this is where you do all your modifications. Um, seat belt left control, you know, like it says, use left control right here, left control, or the D-pad on your controller to interact. So, you can actually, right here, you can, if you don't want the left control of something that you already have in your game is connected to that left control, and you want to go to, um, numpad 6, you know, so all you got to do is you do no numpad let me see six and that's all you gotta do and then if you if that's what you like you come up here to file and you press save I'm not gonna press save so I'm just gonna I'm gonna switch it back to left control but you would do save right here and then it's saved that's all you gotta do and then now when you get into your game you, all you gotta do is push that numpad 6 and it'll work. It will take it, the seatbelt on and it will take it off. Yeah. Okay. So it will put it on and take it off. The numpad 6. And then you can go uh, on your controller. D-pad up. Uh, uh, allow controller. Yeah. What this is right here. Uh, allow controller. If you want to use your controller, then you can do that. But if you don't want to use controller or you don't have a controller, um, you'll do false. And then you'll just do the left control. So, it, But if you do want to use controller, just leave that to true. Um, if you want, you know, possible seatbelt lockup. If you want your seatbelt every now and then to lock up like it does in IRL, Leave that as true. But if you don't ever want that seatbelt to lock up, press false. Uh, wait, did I say that right? Possible seatbelt lock up. Yeah, it's true. If you want it to lock up every once in a while. Now, if you don't, if you just don't want to worry about it, you know, do false. Interact animations, like if you're, um, when he locks it or she, when you lock your, or when you fasten your seatbelt, they'll actually come over and you know act like to put on a seatbelt if you want them to have it you know leave it as true if you don't then press it as false i'm not going to go through all of these but um remember those uh chimes what i was going with uh going right here uh what is that all those chimes fastening images and fastening right here it's where it starts um yeah sfx chime sound fasten sound un fasten sound unfasten sound all of that so that's what you go through here and if you uh what's this all that okay um if you want to come back through here and to uh, put it to what you're liking uh then you have every 
um, way to do that. You have every right to do that because it's your game and you want to do it. I'm going, I'm me, myself, I'm just going to leave everything alone because I like how it is. But that's how you do the I and I. This is where you do all your modifications and your, you know, your control, your buttons and all this and all that. So, uh, there you go. So, no, no, save, don't. Okay, be hot. But anyway, yeah, that's how. This is how you do it. Let me show you. So, what you do? Come over here. Oh, okay, yeah. It's already in our game. So, got to be the talk. I forgot. Um, it's right here. C belt I N I C belt dot D L L C belt Media. There you have you. Now it's in your game. Now, once you start up your game, let me do this part. I do this part uh, with y'all. Okay, you yeah, we're done with this. Yeah, we're done with all this. So you can exit out of that. There you go. Now this is what you do. Now if you go into your game and it's not working, and you know you put it in there, back out of your game. Make sure you do this. I'm gonna start up my rage. Now you can do left shift to hold it down, or you can go here to settings. And click settings, that little gear icon up there I just pressed. Now wait for it to pop up right here. Now go plugins. Go, you know how it says general plugins, event settings, and game settings? You go to plugins. Okay, this is all that I have in my game right here. I have Exxon Signal, Crouch, EUP menu, license play run, I have all this. Now see where we just put it in, the seatbelt? It's not highlighted. They're not highlighted, but it's not checked. So anytime that you put a plug-in in and you go into your game and it's not working, this is why. You, want, you, can, you can go into your game and if it's not working, all you got to do, you go to press F4. Let me repeat that. Press F4. Put in reload all plugins, And then let us do its thing. Then when it gets through doing this thing, then... This will um, pop up. Seatbelt. Uh, the seatbelt will work. Now there's another way you can do it. You do C, uh, F4. And you put load plugin. Type load plugin. And then right after you do that. Pr uh, press the space bar. And press. And then type seatbelt. Let me repeat that. Press F4. Type in. Load plugin. Space. Type seatbelt and then press enter, and then it'll load the plug in. Now, if you don't want to do that, this is what you'll do you'll come here. Let me do this again. You'll do you'll do the, your rage, you can press left shift, and then it'll go to that, or you come over to this icon and go right here, right there. Now that you go here to plugins. Right there and see how that is you, you see my seatbelt right here you just click it and then you hit save and launch I'm not gonna go into my game but this is what you would do you click it and save and launch now after you do that you do not have to worry about doing this again all you gotta do load into your game and there you go this is the way I like to do it I don't like doing that F4 and all that that's just me personally. You can do whatever you want to do. But this is the way I like to do it. So I don't have to do this ever again. Now if you don't want. Let's just say you don't want the seatbelt in for that moment. You want to take it out for a couple of days or whatever. All you got to do. Do the same steps. Like I just told you how to get here. And all you got to do is come up over here. Uncheck it. And then save and launch. And then now it will launch without that plug in being loaded because once you launch it save and launch all this that you have checked will load into your game but if you don't have it check marked then it won't load into your game so but anyway other than that that's basically all i have um on this particular you know tutorial this is how you do plugins uh install plugins and if you have any questions discord link is in my description you can go there and you can open up a ticket and then we can help you from there on out but until next time folks when in doubt look up
Because that's where it all is. Because you never know what tomorrow will bring. Julian Gaming's out.